Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, is it worth learning C++ if I already know Go? So let's get into it. Well, this is uh, to me a little bit of, um, I think that this is a bit of an education piece that we need to touch on here. Uh, you see, the people who focus on C++ and the people who focus on Go don't really have the same sort of use case for the language. Uh, like there, There's very little in terms of overlap between the two, although it is absolutely possible for you to do some things like, you know, and to have it make sense, you can write certain things in Go that you could have written in C++ and vice versa. But in general terms, like for most use cases, these languages are fairly, well, they're not really solving the same sort of problem. If you know Golang, it's very likely that you learned it because you wanted to make some type of web applications or web services, something like that. And the people who focus on C++ are not all, are very rarely solving, solving that sort of problem. They're more focused on embedded systems, games, system levels programming like lower level things that don't necessarily co connect to web work which is what well go is extremely good at extremely good at so the question like the thing, the thing that you need to ask yourself you know should you learn c++ if you already know go is like if your intention is to learn, be able to do the sort of thing that C++ is good at doing, then yeah, absolutely, because Go is not really designed to do that sa the, those same sort of things, right? But if you think that you're going, because if you think that you're going to use Go to do the same things that you would do with C++, that's actually, uh, that's a very flaw. Like, uh, then I think that you need to have a bit, a bit, a bit of a look at the dis differences and the things that Go is actually good at doing as opposed to C++, because it would be absolute madness for you to try to, I don't know, write an operating system in Go. Like, uh, it wouldn't make much sense. Or a... I don't know, a high performance 3D game or something like that. And on the flip side, most people would probably agree that it's not a very efficient thing to, or it's not the best thing or the best idea in the world to create a REST API in C++. It's possible, but it's not really, it's not the greatest thing, you know, it's, it's not really a good fit for that sort of problem. So that's the thing that you need to take, basically think about here. If you're going to, try to use Go for both, like, you shouldn't use Go for the thing that C++ is good at doing and you shouldn't use C++ to, for the thing that Go is good at. So if you don't care about the things that C++ is good at and you're just happy doing REST APIs or web, web development or things of this nature, then go, you know, just stick with Go, then you don't have to learn C++. But if you want to do the lower level stuff and say games development, things of this nature, then yes, absolutely, you should learn C++. It's probably the best choice when it comes to those sorts of things. So that's going to be my answer basically. So what I want you to take away from take away from this is basically that if you already learned Go and you're happy with just basically doing the sort of things that Go is good at as examples, then web application, REST APIs, microservices, whichever, like whatever you're going to build right, then you don't really have to learn C++. Like you're going to be set with just using Go. But if your intention is to do lower level, lower level programming, building operating systems, games development, things of this nature, then you should absolutely learn C++ because Go is not really used to solve those sorts of problems, just as C++ isn't really well suited to solve the same sorts of, problem that, sort of problems that Go solves. Have a great day.